Hello, today we're going to be analysing hype beasts. Hype beasts are not fashion conscious, but they're brand aware and self-absorbed, so all they see is labels. These offshoots of the nouveau rich use these labels to manoeuvre through their social environment, creating value judgments based on whether you buy your Supreme from a merch drop, a consignment store or Facebook marketplace. Hype beasts are only allowed to talk about urban streetwear and sometimes weed. Hype beasts are sativa dominant rich kids that appropriate skater culture by dressing up in bape fits to bape fit in with the other kids whose fathers are bape hedge fund managers. Hype beasts have burned the trademark logo into the deep corners of their consciousness. They suffer from taste blindness. They're all labels and no fabric. Does that change, Ingle? Hello, Jingle. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. When you scratch the surface of a hype beast, you find a wounded hope beast who grew cold because nobody would listen to his hype beats. Hype beasts, being slaves to all things commercial, can be seen as stepping stones in the natural evolution of the company man. Hype beasts are a product of their comfortable environment. Unlike other subcultures that are rooted in the philosophy of life, being hype beast is purely an aesthetic decision. Hype beasts have dropped out of the identity race, choosing instead to wear a hat at the age of 32 to make it look like they're 19 years old. Hype beasts are too stoned to be accountants and too anxious to be drug dealers. 